con ustedes. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to be with you guys. Um, I'm going to speak uh, English and a little bit of Spanish uh, as, I demos, as I do my demos. Um, I'm very happy to be here. I apologize for, the, for not being here on time. Um, so, what I'm doing today, I'm going to be talking about my demos, uh, my, my demos, my uh, new line of chocolates, um, chocolate molds uh, manufactured by Greyas. This uh, new, um, I don't want to say new, they've been on business for, for at least 25 years. Um, I met them about two years ago and uh, one of my dreams was to, to have my own line of molds. Um, and that's what I want to show you. My molds are now available at, uh, at Bay Deco. Uh, you can order them. There's no shipping if you buy at least $50. And what I want to do is to, to show you a little bit of all the, te uh, not all the techniques, but most of the um, issues that might come with dealing with my molds, like, like closing them, like um, how to work with my molds. My, my molds are a bit uh, different, I want to believe, than, than most, in the sense that um, I always like to be, um, you know, to offer a new, a new take on, on chocolate making, on bonbons. Um, the mold that I'm going to start working with is mold number uh, 3535. It has an, a negative space. Um, I love nature and I wanted to incorporate um, I can't believe I said I love nature. I, I do, but I also like cities. I like uh, concrete. But um, I wanted to incorporate the shape of, uh, of a cacao bean. And uh, I'm going to start working on that. Um, les decía, eh, yo eh, me encanta la naturaleza, pero también todo lo relacionado con, con las ciudades, el concreto, todo este rollo industrial. Y bueno, vamos a... Uh, a empezar a hacer la, una pequeña decoración para, para este molde. Es un molde para tres tabletas, eh, fácil de limpiar, eh, fácil de, de rellenar y es lo que quiero enseñarles ahora, ¿ok? Entonces, lo que voy a, lo, para esto necesito un poco de papel. Bueno, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, black specks. Um, the way I do that, I like to use this um, a brush that you can get at a dollar store. It's used to clean, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, ¿cómo se llaman los, los muelas? Eh, to clean uh, the back of a denture. Um, and uh, the way I like to do it, I don't like to do it... Eh, eh, you know, like without seeing how much I'm putting. So I have cocoa butter here, black color cocoa butter at about, um, about 28 or 30, uh, between 20, 28 and 30 Celsius. So what I do, I dip just a little bit of the, of the, uh, uh, the brush. Y con mucho cuidado voy a poner unos puntitos, muy, muy leves. So very carefully and see, Having a mold like this is good because you, you basically get to see what you're working on. So that's it. I do that everywhere. Now, the next thing is going to be uh, using a brush. Here I'm using a, a little bit of brown cocoa butter. So I load my brush and then I unload it, okay? This further crystallizes the cocoa butter and it makes a better uh, contraction, better shine. So you paint just like that. You can also do a, a stencil and then uh, brush over the stencil if you want to save on, on time. Um, basically, we'll end up with something like this. So we'll probably do a close up. Nos acercamos bien para que vean el efecto. Bien. Ahora, eh, I'm going to give this a little bit of gold dust. Just, I can either uh, use a spray like, like what I have here in a pump, or I can just pick up a little bit of, uh, 
a little bit of the spray and blow on it, you know, or you can use the brush. But I'm gonna put a little bit of, of the bra of this uh, dust in the mold. Then uh, I'm going to shake it because I don't want to um, too much on it, okay? So the next thing is going to be to encapsulate. I want to lock in that gold dust so that um, so it doesn't uh, prevent the chocolate from contracting, okay? So in this case, um, I have already done this before. I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, a white color cocoa butter. What I have is a little bit of a, a alabaster white from Chef Rudder, which you can also get at Bay Deco. Uh, to that, I added a little bit of brown food, co brown food color, brown color cocoa butter. Le, le voy a dar una pasada con, con el aerógrafo. Eh, la manteca de cacao ya la tengo a 31 grados Celsius. So I'm going to airbrush at 31 uh, Celsius, uh, white color cocoa butter. Great. Right. I'm just going to move this here. Okay. So you can follow me. Me puedes seguir por aquí si gustas. Bien. Vamos a pintar. Tengo ya mi, mi manteca de cacao. My cocoa butter is ready. So usually what I do, I give one coat and then I allow the, cho the cocoa butter to crystallize and uh, to set until it's dry to the touch. Then I give it one more coat, okay? Um, in this case, um, I have one uh, already done, so we don't have to wait. Uh, lo que hago es darle una pasada de manteca de cacao, después se limpia el molde, después um, Si es necesario, eh, se le da otra pasada de, de pintura, otra capa, dos capas o una capa, todo, todo depende como lo quieran. You can put one or two, two, two um, applications of cocoa butter, uh, but you have to wait until the mold is at room temperature, okay? So it looks like, like that. Okay, I have one that I, that I did earlier and... Uh, just going to keep it. Okay. Uh, well, it's actually this one. What I'll do, I'm gonna put it in the in the room that is colder. I have a room that I keep at about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 Celsius. Um, when that crystallizes, when the cocoa butter crystallizes, um, I will apply chocolate. So in the meantime, I'm gonna work with another one of my favorite molds. Uh, and uh, that is mold. I still don't remember the, the codes for this. Um, it's mold uh, 3538. Okay, so I'll be back in one minute. Okay, uh, bueno, quiero, quiero platicarles un poquito acerca de este molde. Eh, es uno de mis moldes favoritos. Eh, les quiero enseñar eh, el resultado. I want to show you a little bit about, about this mold. So if we can make a close-up on this mold. This is a double mold. Um, I want to show you the, the, the thickness of the shell. Uh, in this case, uh, it's two molds. Um, two, two halves put together and this can be uh, this can be filled uh, or this can also be uh, a mendiant. So anyways, let me tell you what, how this mold works. Okay, so you have two molds. Every mold has um, a, two different styles of cavities. Okay, um, the idea is that you buy two molds to make, to make the, the round uh, domes, okay? Um, this could have been a, a, a double mold, 
But if I, if I would have created a double mold, it would have been more expensive because a double mold you're going to incur into more uh, magnets, you're going to incur into in a, in a third tray. So, and that's not what I wanted. You know, a lot of the double molds are 50, 60, 70 dollars sometimes. So you can get two molds for less than um, 20 dollars a piece, and then you just put them together, and that's how you do a mold. Eh, lo, lo que hice para este molde, quise diseñar algo al alcance del bolsillo, quise algo, eh, eh, es un mold, molde doble, se puede utilizar eh, individual o se pueden pegar, que es lo que voy a hacer, voy a hacer dos, las dos mitades y, y, y lo voy a, los voy a pegar después, ok, bueno, I'm going to make myself a little bit of room here to feel, to make this. Bien, so I'll go with uh, chocolate. So I work with uh, 65 uh, Maracaibo from Felclin. That's my preferred chocolate. Uh, it's got a good, a good fluidity. It works uh, very well for this type of uh, uh, shakes. So I work with uh, chocolate at uh, 90 Fahrenheit, okay? Again, it's a 65 uh, content. And I'm just going to feel, very important, to feel all the way to the top. You, you almost want like a one millimeter, if not a little bit more chocolate on top of it, okay? Especially because we're putting this together. We're, we're doing two halves into one. La idea es llenar las cavidades hasta, hasta el tope y pasarse un poquito, unos de un milímetro a unos tres. Si es más, no pasa nada. So I want to make sure I work with this quite fast. My room temperature, I, I prefer to work at room temperature, actually. That gives me a little bit more time to work with the chocolate. All right. Perfect. Okay. Bien. Ok, so now what I do, I bring the mold to, uh, to, close to me, vibrate a few times like so, me traigo el molde, le doy unos golpecitos, de esta forma, bien, ahora agarro una espátula, very important, I've, I've, some of you chocolate is not working very clean, eh, volteo el molde, volteo, Limpio. Me apoyo. Aquí este molde tengo, eh, I have this um, lax. Eh, the mold that we're selling eh, does not come with the, with the lax because again, I wanted to make it more, uh, a, a, a better price. So very important, you just clean and clean the mold like this a little bit more I want to create a lip uh, like a contact surface quiero dejar un borde para poder unir el otro la otra mitad so now what I do I just clean this and I'm gonna let it dry like that I'll do the same on this one limpio de esta forma Bien, ahora aquí eh, limpio un poquito más y dejo que endurezca por unos dos o tres minutos, ¿sí? Lo tiro. Bueno, aquí es importante dejar eh, que el chocolate empiece a cristalizar un poquito, eh, pero, no, pero, pero no mucho, lo queremos todavía húmedo. Very important to allow the chocolate to, to crystallize eh, before we join both of the, of the molds, but we don't want to wait too long because we still want the chocolate to be a little bit uh, tacky.
Okay. Well, there's always a battle with the gloves. I have I have warm hands. Uh, okay. So I still got a few uh, a few more seconds. Then. Okay. So at this point, you see how it's getting a little bit, still a little bit wet, but I'm going to tap it a little bit to create more of a uh, contact surface. That's very important. Okay. So this is going to be good. Um, but um, I have a little bit too much here. Now it's very important for, uh, for the shell to contract properly to make sure it's the same thickness, okay? Uh, for me, for my work, uh, it's very important to have the good shine, well, for everybody, the contraction. And in order for that to happen, you want the, th the same thickness on the shell, okay? From the bottom to the top. So for that reason, I move a little bit. Perfect. Now I'm just going to combine both of them, okay? Um, now, if I was to do this, um, uh, not on a live, I probably would have waited about five more minutes. The reason is uh, there's still trap heat uh, I, uh, in the in the chocolate, and it's best to just let it um, let it let it go. You know, let the chocolate cool down just a little bit, and then you join them. Okay, but in this case, I'm gonna do it now. Uh, lo ideal sería dejarlo enfriar como unos dos minutos más para eh, poder eh, para que el calor se, se evapore, para que se enfríe un poco más el chocolate. Bueno, lo que hago ahora es unirlos. En este caso, I have eh, los seguros estos para este molde. I have those lacs that I was telling you about. Eh, you can do it without the lacs too. Eh, what, I, what I truly recommend is to, uh, to buy those lacs for, for molds. Um, but if you don't have those, you can use tape. Or, or plastic wrap, okay? Uh, in this case, I love to use this uh, type of uh, duct tape, clear duct tape. Going to just cut a little bit. Okay. So we're going to just bring it. Like a little bit of pressure, then. So this is how you do a double mold. You can do the same technique with other shapes. It doesn't have to be just this uh, this type of shape. Um, again, this is the mold, the, the 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 piece that we're going for. I I wanted not a shape of a macaron, but I did also wanted a shape of a UFO. So it's uh, it's flat on the bottom and round on the top. Okay, so, so this way, uh, I'm gonna take this to the refrigerator and wait about um, at least 20 minutes, okay? So, we'll take that. Okay, so we have two things going right now. We have the, a, a mold that is uh, painted with cocoa butter, uh, the negative bar mold, uh, that needs to crystallize, and I have my mold 3535, the double mold. I'm gonna let this uh, set. Uh, in the meantime, I have a bar mold here. Uh, the more the number is, um, I'll tell you, is 3400. Uh, so I want to show you how to prevent air bubbles, okay? Those crazy bubbles on chocolate that we all hate, okay? So the idea to avoid them, especially on these molds. Uh, on my molds that I have a lot of uh, architecture, I have a lot of lines, is to let the chocolate flow like lava, okay? You do not want to pull the chocolate and, 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 and drizzle it because as chocolate gets into the mold from different directions, that's, that's how air bubbles are formed. The other thing, you want to make sure you use the chocolate at its, at its maximum fluidity, okay? Uh, to, to minimize the risk of bubbles. So, I'll show you what I do. I got uh, chocolate here. And please notice how I'm gonna start in the center and I feel I'm always following the, the flow of the chocolate. 
because again, I don't want air bubbles. This should be enough chocolate. Now I start over here and I just, I just push the chocolate. See? You can also start in the corner. También se puede empezar en la esquina. Es la misma técnica. Eh, lo, los que han hecho moldes de silicón me van a entender muy bien. Y otros también, obvio. Eh, so it's like, like using silicon, like making a mold, ¿ok? Bien. Ahora... Eh, 25. ¿Mm? 25. 25, perfecto. Eh, le voy a dar unos golpecitos eh, para, para esparce, eh, extender el chocolate bien. Me lo traigo y le doy unos golpecitos. Más o menos así. Aquí me quedó un poco de chocolate. I have a little bit of uh, uh, extra chocolate. No problem. I'm just going to, with a spatula like this, quickly uh, clean a little bit more. All this chocolate, of course, we will reutilize. Now, um, in this case, um, I have a bar that is going to be just a solid bar of chocolate. This bar, uh, this model can also be filled with um, ganache. Uh, or caramel, or um, perhaps a, a, a heavy syrup, okay? Um, in this case, I'm gonna top it off with um, whatever I have in my pantry, okay? So, let's see. Okay, so the first thing that I, that I see and I kind of like is the caramelized almonds. Lo voy a terminar con almendra caramelizada antes de que el chocolate eh, pierda su brillo. Así de sencillo, sus poquitas almendras. Y bueno... Esto es eh, algo rápido, pero eh, si se tiene un chocolate eh, de muy buena calidad, que es obviamente lo que todos queremos, eh, no necesariamente las barras tienen que ser rellenas. Se puede hacer un chocolate para alguien que le guste mucho, como en este caso la almendra o el chocolate, eh, sería bien. Una barra, o sea, no quiero decir nombres, pero como la Hershey Bar. Eh, no digo que me guste, pero tampoco me desagrada. Pero, pero el concepto está ahí, ¿sí? Eh, bueno. So I tap this. Now I want to uh, take this to a, to a cold room. I want to promote crystallization and um, uh, eliminate the residual heat, okay? Okay, time flies. So I have uh, this uh, already crystallized on my on my on my mold, uh, but uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and work on another one of my favorite molds. They're all my favorite molds, I should say. But uh, in this uh, this one here, um, I have um, it's mold number three four three seven. Um, it's uh, it has, as you can see, a, 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 an indentation. So um, when I do this again, I will do another demo and I will show you what I, what I made the indentation for. But in this case, I have, uh, I'm just going to paint it with, um, with blue, blue turquoise, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So for that, again, I'll put, using my brush, I'm gonna put just a little bit of, of the color here, uh, specs. Not much, but just enough to give it a little bit of, uh, to, to help the other colors stand up. Si pongo un, po un poquito de, de como pecas, esto va a ayudar a que, a que el otro color resalte. ¿Sí? Bien. Perfecto. Bien. Yo ya tenía otro molde que había preparado antes, este. Uh, this already has those uh, black specks, um, because if, if I spray right away and if the black specks are not set, uh, you are going to have a different effect, okay? Uh, I'm gonna paint this one with that blue uh, turquoise, all right? Yeah. 
I like to use a bad badger spray. For me, it doesn't waste much uh, cocoa butter, and I'm just, uh, it's my preferred method. Okay. Okay, so it's very uh, important for this, um, for this technique to uh, apply the cocoa butter at uh, about 29 uh, Celsius, okay? One good coat everywhere inside the cavity. Para esta técnica, eh, la manteca de cacao a 29 grados, eh, se le da una buena pasada a, la, a cada cavidad, ¿sí? Eh, y antes de que el molde cristalice, perdón, antes de que la manteca de cacao cristalice, yo utilizo estos uh, eh, cotonetes, ¿sí? De algodón. Lo que voy a hacer es, voy a remover eh, siguiendo eh, el borde que tengo adentro de cada molde, voy a remover la pintura. So, utilizing uh, these uh, pointy Q-tips, I'm going to remove some of the cocoa butter that is... Uh, along the middle, the, the divisory line on each cavity, okay? Uh, obviamente, I'm gonna try to do everything fast, as fast as possible. Maybe we can do a close-up here. See, I put my finger. Sorry about my finger, it has cocoa butter. It's not, it's just cocoa butter from working with chocolate every time. So see what I do? You just remove and see? You just follow that line this way. It's hard to, to see now, but you just follow the line. So when I, when I designed this mold, I wanted to make it easy for somebody who not necessarily have the best poles, like me, you know, I don't have the greatest poles. I always, uh, my students do much better than me, but I come up with ideas, they do all the physical work, so it works. Uh, but the idea is to keep on moving this, um, to, to keep on cleaning before the, the color sets, okay? So I would have done this just like that. And I'm not going to do it with all the molds, but now um, what you can do when this crystallizes, when the cocoa butter sets, you go back and put uh, perhaps a little bit of a, of a silver dust or black uh, color or brown color. In this case, I'm going to do a, a little bit of a gold and you'll see, you'll see the line. We can probably look on this one. So that's, that's just one way of doing it, okay? Um, so I'm going to let this set. Then, uh, I have another mold here. ¿Se da el tiempo, por favor? 7.33. 7.33, perfect. Bueno, ahora, um, I have a mold that I did before. So, en este caso, eh, lo que tengo es básicamente eh, la, la misma técnica que hice anteriormente, Encamisé con chocolate y puse un poquito de ganache de caramelo, ¿sí? So what I have here, I have the same uh, similar mold, um, but I, I cast it with chocolate and then I put a thin layer, about, about four millimeters of caramel ganache, okay? So what I'll do on this one, it's uh, prepare my ganache and I'll show you how I, how I finish those.
Bien. Bueno, vamos a empezar a poner un poquito de caramelo. Ya lo, ya lo tengo ahí. Ahora, uh, en, esta, en, este, en esta charola, eh, aquí tengo un ganache. Eh, eh, en este caso es un ganache eh, a, a base de aceite de coco. Es un producto de, de Felkley. Eh, es un eh, producto con, eh, con queso mascarpón, aceite de coco, eh, delicioso. Pero esto, esto lo pueden hacer ustedes con, con any ganache. Um, what I'm doing now, I'm using a mascarpone based uh, ganache. Um, I'm using a product from Felklin that is uh, mascarponosa, is delicious, it will save you time and it's great quality. But you can do this technique with any other, okay? Um, any other ganache. You just have to put them on these silicone molds that are about 30 uh, millimeter and in diameter. And you pour your ganache, you let it crystallize, and then you can handle them with a toothpick, okay? So, what we'll do, what I'll do, uh, I'm going to fill about the middle with a little bit of uh, the soft ganache. Then I will take each of these uh, little mascarpone, mascarpone ganache. So it's very important to put a small amount of ganache, let it harden, and then you go back and put one more, just like that. I just love to play with the inside. And uh, I started making uh, terrines and galantines and uh, working with uh, a competition work. And now I'm obsessed with, with insights, feelings. All right, so I have a little bit more then um i just wish you we had a chance to do a longer demo and then we'll finish this but um we'll do one here i push too much too hard but it's okay so we'll do one more okay perfect so now um i want to tell you i will finish this with a little bit of pasta de fruta uh, ate de guayaba what i have in my fingers is a uh, um, if you are uh, from Mexico or, or uh, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, all these Latin countries, um, we, 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 you can buy this uh, ate, this pasta de fruta, comes in a can, you slice it, and then, and then this will save you time. And of course, you can also make your own pate fui, uh, pour it in a silicone mold, and then cut it into about 26 millimeter uh, little coins. And then that goes in on each uh, cavity, like that, okay? Nice and easy, just like that. Of course, I will, um, I would keep on going and then finish it with, uh, with chocolate, okay? Or a mixture of uh, chocolate and Nutella or chocolate and peanut butter, and there's different uh, ways, ways to do that. So, so this, this is a, a, this, mo, this uh, particular uh, mold, um, I'm gonna have it on my Instagram feed in probably like two weeks. So I will put the one that we did at the Bake Deco demo, okay? So hopefully you have the idea. Basically, um, you, can, you can look at bonbons and use just like you do pastry work, okay? Same concept in a way, uh, except you just have to be careful with water activity and, and you probably don't wanna use a, a, a mousse uh, but if you use a mousse, uh, you have to just keep the bonbon refrigerated. So let's go on the, on the next technique, which... 740. 740, bien. Bueno. All right. Another one of my, my favorite molds. They're all my children. I love them all. Eh, otro de mis moldes favoritos es en forma de una gota, ¿sí? Es muy, muy, muy leal, eh, tiene, o sea, eh, me, leal me refiero a que eh, es muy fácil de limpiar eh, y, no, o sea, no, no hay mucho que limpiar, entonces eh, se contrae muy bien. Eh, the, the, the Teardrop Mold, eh, this is mold 3536, 
and I want to show you what I did uh, for this uh, special uh, decoration. This is part of the decoration. It looks a little dull, but that's because uh, it's going to get a lot more shine. So what I do for that, I take uh, masking uh, or tape, then I, I keep it like this. Basically, I'm just creating a stencil. Once you have the stencil, uh, you take it and spray. In this case, I spray red, uh, as you can see, then I remove the tape. All right, so very important, you spray and then you wait until, until the cocoa butter is, is set. At that point, you, you can remove the tape, okay? So, what we do next, um, using, um, I have two um, toothpicks. So what I'll do, I'm going to cut, I'm gonna make the, the, the make them flat, just like, just like that. All right, then um, gently, I'm going to I'm going to scrape. So th this is this is one of my most common techniques, okay, uh, that I love to do. So first, um, the cocoa butter uh, this has uh, already crystallized. So I'm gonna start in the center. I want to make sure it doesn't move, and then I'm going to I'm gonna try to do it backwards so you can see it. So I go like that. Then I'm going to start right where I left, and then I do another, another pass. I'm gonna do one more over here. So I go this way, and then here I position the toothpick, los pongo justo donde tenía los otros, y hago esta rayita, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, aquí voy a continuar ahí. I'm gonna continue here, just like that. Then I take a little bit of I take just a little bit of gold dust. I'm gonna load, I have a little bit too much here. And of course, this is another one that you will see when it's done, but uh, this is the effect that you get, see? Another cool effect with that, you do with a ruler, that's if you want a clean, uh, a straight line. So you take a ruler, position the ruler like that, and then you wanna go back and forth and scrape. Esta es otra, otra, otra técnica para hacer una rayita finita. Por ejemplo, así, o una rayita gemela, igual. Eh, se pone el, pali, el palito, se, se, se talla de esta forma. ¿Sí? So this is gonna give us more of a, more of a clean, straight cut. ¿Sí se ve? Poquito de polvo lustre, a little bit of gold dust, and you have it. All right? Okay, so now it's time to unmold uh, the, double, the double piece. I'm gonna save this gold dust or something else. So we're going to unmold uh, these bonbons. And uh, if I did everything right, you know, uh, they should have already um, set into one piece. So very careful. Uh, give them a little tap. There's always the one that doesn't cooperate. Okay. So here you, here you have it. Now, I'm actually going to 
do this side. Okay. Ok, bueno, esto es lo mejor de, de la clase, creo yo, quiero explicarles algo. I want to tell you something that you have all been asking me, ok? How do we do velvet, ok? So I want to explain um, here, I hope you can see the difference. This, this is the same mold, this one you have more shine than here. So how do I have more shine here? That's because when I polish the mold, I polish uh, actually uh, with a little bit of vinegar, and I, I, I polished until I hear kind of that sound. Uh, for this mold, I didn't polish the mold. I just cleaned the mold because I want the cocoa butter to stay there, okay? Uh, I don't want the cocoa butter to raise to the top because I want to add a velvet finish. And the velvet finish adheres better when the cocoa butter is uh, mixed throughout the chocolate, okay? So after I take this out, uh, uh, this can also be filled, but let me show you how I how I add the velvet finish. Okay, so I take these ch chocolates, I put them in a in a in a in a plexiglass or a plate, and then I take them to the refrigerator or freezer. Uh, the freezer uh, is going to give you, it's going to take longer to dry, but it's going to give you a more impressive finish. So let, let me let me add that to it. Okay, so I'm gonna spray here. So these ones I took to the freezer for 20 minutes. Uh, Vamos a hacer una pequeña decoración. Bueno, eh, lo llevo al, al refri, eh, perdón, al freezer, como por unos 20 minutos. Después se le aplica esa, eh, el poquito de eh, manteca de cacao. La manteca de cacao necesita estar a, a 31 grados. Muy importante. Bueno, lo, los voy a terminar en, en, en un minuto, una pequeña decoración, voy a esperar un poquitito, un poquitito y eh, voy por mi otro molde, ya no, no me dio tiempo, pero quiero enseñarles eh, otro de mis moldes favoritos. Está un poco caliente aquí, pero tiene que salir, ¿sí? Eh, por lo general, eh, me gusta solamente ponerle un poquito de color negro, gotitas de negro, pecas, y dejar el molde eh, solo, sin ninguna otra decoración. Le podemos enseñar el otro.
Bueno, el tiempo se me vino encima, pero quería enseñarles cuando el molde del, que tiene el espacio de negativo. Eh, para, para sellarlo es importante colocar una espátula al centro y limpiar de esta manera para no rayar el molde. ¿sí? Se va a colocar una, la espátula y se limpia de esta forma. Yo puse un relleno muy delgadito, en este caso era caramelo, pero puede ser un relleno como de té matcha o, o, al, o tamarindo, sabores intensos. Y después sellé con uh, un acetato, con una hoja de guitarra, ¿sí? Y les enseño. ¿Cómo quedó? Bien, ahora... Golpecito. Golpecito de esta manera. Sí. Bueno, y eh, el relleno, o sea, la, la, la placa se puede limpiar un poco aquí, pero, pero en sí, eh, esta es la, una, una de mis barras favoritas. Eh, ¿sí? Ahora, ¿cómo decoré este bombón? Eh, imaginémonos que el bombón está relleno de, de muchas formas, ¿no? Pues eso, eh, en mis cursos, eh, por lo general, todas estas técnicas las enseño. Eh, I teach all of these techniques on my online course or in my academy. Eh, you're more than welcome to contact me and then uh, I'll give you three days of nothing but techniques and designs and um, the time flies, you know. So then what I will do over here, I just decorate with chocolate this way. Just a little bit something. Just like that. Ok, so, pass me the questions. Es que no... No las puedo medir. Ok, permíteme. Sorry, let me, let me just try to... Uh... Ok. Eh, les voy a contestar eh, al, al... Bueno, me hacen preguntas y... Eh... Gracias, gracias a ti, gracias a ti. Eh, Volteame la cámara y... No, no. Perdón, el tiempo voló. I, I think eh, vamos a hacer otra. Es aquí. Ahora sí. Vamos a terminar esto. No, yo creo las contestas al final. ¿Saben qué? Cualquier pregunta, mándenme por favor eh, un, un mensaje. Any question, send me, a, send me a message and I will answer. Time fly on this one, you know. Uh, but uh, like I said, if you, I would love to have you take, uh, meet me, uh, take a class, uh, call me, WhatsApp me. Uh, I always talk. Uh, I don't need to sell you anything. I love to make friends. Try my molds. Um, They are less expensive than the competition, and uh, you know, uh, just come and come and uh, come and play chocolate with me, guys. You've been great. Um, let me see if there's anything I need to unfold, and uh, perhaps this. See, there's no no air bubbles. Excuse my hands, but uh, these are my two babies. And uh, you can now get them at Bake Deco, okay? Uh, if, you, if you have any problem, or this bar tends to be difficult sealing, but I, I'll show you how, okay? Um, I, I will be uh, probably putting up a video on my Instagram feed of the other techniques that I could not finish. You guys have been great. Thank you. I'm sorry I could not uh, speak with each one of you. Um, We have two minutes. Tenemos tiempo. Cuatro minutos. Perdón, o sea, me hubiera encantado tener más tiempo. Eh, sé que son muchas las preguntas. 
Eh, por ahí se viene un curso en línea que voy a dar. Va a ser el último curso en español que doy del año. Así es de que si están interesados, por favor, eh, vamos a cerrar las inscripciones en unos cuatro días. El, el curso es en julio 1, 2 y 3. Después me voy a Europa a enseñar. Eh, si están interesados, mis amigos de habla hispana, por favor, ahora es cuando. Um, eh, lo que necesiten, mándenme un mensaje y les contesto. Eh, compren mis moldes, eh, les van a encantar, estoy seguro. Um, bueno, Cari, se los, se los enseñaste en closa. Eh, acuérdense, eh, please remember, with, with the double mold, seal it, I mean, make it tight, okay? Um, I got this tip from a chef, Susan Natter, somebody who I respect. She showed me how to do this. Make it tight so that you have a nice band, okay? Um, you guys, thank you for all the uh, las muestras de cariño. You guys are wonderful. Uh, I, I, I'm so fortunate to have so many good friends. I really love you all. My last name is Amado, means love. And um, hope, hope to do something like that again soon. Thank you everybody at Bait Deco. Sheena, you're being great. Pearl, uh, of course, Greas. What a, what a great company. Uh, my family, I'm going to be seeing you guys soon. Child, I love you. Thank you all. Okay. We're going to keep going until a uh, light tells me to stop. Déjame ver. Bueno, vamos a a enseñar las barras, eh, ¿qué más? One of the questions had to do about the, what, what I use to spray. So I have a compressor here, and, uh, and then I have a, a fan, and then everything is, is connected uh, here. And I also have a heat gun. So the heat gun, uh, I use the heat gun if the, if the, uh, airbrush gets uh, messed up. Um, I, I use it. Arin, thank you. I want to see you in Israel hopefully soon. Thank you, Troyas. Eh, est, esta es la cocina de. El, no, no es de mi casa. Esta, este es mi estudio. Pero eh, quiero enseñarles un poco de, 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 mi, de mi cocina. Me dicen que qué color uso para, para Gold Dust. Esto es lo que uso. Eh, quieren, me preguntan por mis the velvet bones yes, yes, this will stay at room temperature just like that and, uh, and they're usually dry eh, my decorate okay, my decorating tools are here eh, my, my colors sí eh, and uh, ¿qué, otro, ¿qué otro molde? Oh, aquí, ¿sabes qué? Creo que hay un poquito de tiempo. I think we have like two minutes, guys. Uh, I'm going to perhaps show you how I feel this, this mold, this bar. Uh, Tienes dos minutos. Ya. I have two minutes, actually. Uh, okay, perfect. I can finish something in two minutes. Bien, vamos a, a terminar esto, es una de mis barras, la vamos a terminar con dulce de leche, ¿ok? Vean la cantidad que pongo, I put a very small amount of dulce de leche. I want to show you in one minute how I finish these bars. I don't have a lot of room to play. Then, um, make sure I have my, my spatula. Uh, again, I just... Uh, well, this one's gonna be is gonna be solid because of time, but thank you, everybody. So I'm gonna show you how I will finish. Uh, one of my bars. There's two ways I can do it with uh, acetate or like this. So if we do it like that, basically, 
spatula in the middle, like that, and then the opposite way. You guys have been wonderful, thank you, and keep in touch. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you, keep in touch, guys.